Okay, you guys, this is my first like camera facing video with my DSLR using a mic. <laughs> I hope the sound's gonna be okay. I got this new mic since I seem to be able to keep up with my posting schedule of uh, videos Tuesdays and or Thursdays. Anyway, let me back up. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Katie. I make homemaking, lifestyle, and motherhood videos for you. You can also follow along with me on Instagram where I post photos and reels every couple of days. Um, I am new to video content and I'm really excited about this channel that I'm kind of resurrecting after giving it a go two years ago. But anyway, I would be so happy if you would like, subscribe, and share this uh, channel with others if you enjoy it. If you have questions for me, I try to share everything in the captions below, but if I miss something, um, feel free to ask. And if there's something that you'd like to see from me, I'm always open to suggestions. So today I am really excited to share a video tour of um, one of the sweetest rooms in our house. This is my oldest bedroom, our five-year-old, almost six-year-old daughter. And I can't wait to bring you through uh, the whole process of how I created this space, what inspired me. So let's get started. Okay, so I think I shared about this in my previous video, but the way that I begin every design process is through looking at inspiration photos. So I started gathering photos on Instagram and Pinterest of what I wanted this space to kind of feel like. And I found that I was really drawn to a couple of um, elements that I really wanted to implement in here. So the Jenny Lind beds I thought were so sweet and I knew they would be probably easy for us to find here because um, I see them all the time in Marketplace and they're just common. We're in the Midwest and so there's lots of antiques available. I also was thinking more of like a cottage um, English style, um, soft pastels, florals, um, ginghams, quilts, like all the things that I am drawn to and a little bit of like gold framing. We also have a peg rail that's over here opposite me and I wanted to style that with like straw hats and like an old um, vintage hanger. I just had all these ideas. So once I had a plan, I wanted to surprise my daughter because she was getting ready to turn five. She'd been in a toddler bed for a really long time and it was time to get her like a big girl, a little bit of a big girl room. So I uh, spent the time while she was gone working on this space with um, my husband and then my mom helped me find a lot of things too and I just love how it turned out. So this room actually used to be a shared room for my oldest two. My boys here right now. They're only 14 months apart, and I'll do a tour at some point of that space, but I really um, am a big proponent of room sharing. I feel like it's gotten over very well in our family. Right now, our, our boys share, obviously, like I just said, and then our girls have their own bedrooms, and I think that's kind of sweet. Eventually, though, I think that our youngest will move in here and share this room. That's definitely what my oldest wants. She's like, I'm ready for sister to move in, but um, they're five years apart, and um, my youngest still has like a lot of you know, need to go to bed early. And I feel like my oldest might keep her up. So right now um, they have their own spaces and it's just fun to have, frankly, two girl rooms to decorate because what could be better? Um, I can't wait to share this room with you. I will link whatever I have um, found in the video description below, but most everything in here is like thrifted secondhand marketplace. Um, and I will do my best to share some tips about that at some point too, because I feel like um, if you're in the right area, Marketplace can be a great place to find pieces of furniture, um, especially of that more like vintage cottagey style.
feels like